welcome to my channel. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing today? I hope all is well with everyone. I must say I am doing great. I'm happy to be off today. Happy to be off tomorrow. I look forward to the weekend. I just wanted to put this video up. Um, it's more of a last minute <laughs> type thing. Um, spur in a moment thing. It's um, a video really much pertaining to some of the shorts that I've been putting up over the past couple of days. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen those shorts, but um, here I am. Okay, so we're going to talk about a little bit about the shorts here that I put up um, these past few days. I'm not sure if everyone have seen my introduction video, um, get to know um, video when I first put up my new YouTube video about a month or so ago, but I did mention that I am a travel agent and I do own my travel business. Um, I received my LLC back in January of this year and I also got registered, you know, with the state of Florida um, in January. I would not have not, not, not have made it without the man above. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gotten my business, my own business. I really, really appreciate him. And I wanted to say this, um, when I was in the process or trying to get my business in, get my LLC, no one knew what I was doing, you know? The only person that knew pretty much was God and my boyfriend. When I do a lot of stuff, pretty much like things that I'm trying to accomplish, goals that I'm trying to meet, I keep a bare minimum of who I discuss that with. And it's mainly most, if I'm, I have a significant other, I will tell him and I'll talk of that. Um, discuss that with God always. Um, I try to be very private and like move in silence when it comes to certain stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? My mom have always taught us to not tell people all your business. If you tell people all your business, you have no business. And if you tell people what some people, what you're trying to do or what you're trying to accomplish, everyone in that inner circle, that small circle, that big circle or whatever the case may be, Everybody does not have your best interests. You know what I'm saying? No matter what they may say or how they may act as like they do, but everybody that don't have your best interests when you're trying to accomplish things or trying to do things to better yourself, you know? So <clears throat> I move in silence. And there's a reason why you should move in silence because when you go and tell the wrong person or wrong people what you're trying to do or what you're trying to accomplish, they prey on it. They prey on your downfall. You say, oh, I'm trying to, hey, girl, I'm trying to, you know, get, I mean, get a house. I'm trying to get a license. I'm trying to get this job, this new job, you know, that I've been wanting. You tell all that stuff that you're trying to do, that's sit, get right behind your back and pray for you to fall. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I stay private a lot of time. Why didn't you tell me? There's a reason why I didn't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Why? There's a reason why. I don't need nobody pretending and acting like they care, you know, for me and care about my well-being, but get behind my back and be praying for me to fall. You understand what I'm saying? Some people don't want to see you doing good. Some people don't want to see you trying to better yourself. They just can't stand it, you know? And it's sad. And I feel like if you're liking what I'm doing, you like that, and you want your own business or whatever the case may be or whatever I have accomplished, just like I work hard for it, why can't you do the same instead of praying on my downfall or pretend, pretending to act like you're so 
proud for me when you're not. You know, I just don't understand that. A lot of people in your inner circle or that you talk to, they have jealous spirits. Whether you want to believe that or not, people have jealous spirits. People envy you and you will be surprised of the ones that have jealous spirits and that envy you and pry, excuse me, try to prey on your downfall. They don't want to see you climbing up the ladder. They just want you to stay put. Once you stay put, they're fine with that. But if they see you trying to better yourself, they don't like that. And it's sad. So that's why I say do stuff in private. You know what I'm saying? Move in silence. You know what I'm saying? Move in silence. That's the best way to do anything. And then once I accomplish what I wanted to accomplish and I met my goal, then and that's when I'll, you know, let people know what I've done. And sometimes that still ain't good. You know what I'm saying? That still ain't good when it comes down to some people. They're like, oh, I'm so happy. No, you ain't happy for me. You ain't happy for me, not at all. So all that kiki in and all that stuff, like my mom always said, everybody that kiki and smile on your face is not your friend and is not for you. And I had to learn that the hard way throughout the years. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have even, you know, looked out for like certain signs and red flags and all that. I thank her many, many days for that, you know, and that's why I move in silence and that's why I be careful about who I ask to pray for me because everybody that ain't praying good for you, they praying for you to fall, you know, so that's why and this is another thing that I want to throw out there. Learn to pray for yourself or be careful who you ask to pray for you because everyone don't have your best interests. They do not have your best interests. And I know one person that you can sit and pray to and tell anything to and you won't get no negativity or anything from him. That's God. God is always going to have your back. If nobody else have your back, and nobody's going to um, be happy for you or nothing like that, he's going to be happy for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's something you don't have to ever worry about. So you have to learn to move in silence, learn to pray for yourself, or be careful who you ask to pray for you because everybody is not for you. Everybody don't want to see you trying to better yourself. Everybody don't have your best interests, you know? So just do that. Like I said, move in silence, pray for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And be happy for yourself. You know what I'm saying? If nobody can be your biggest cheerleader, it would be you. You is your biggest, best cheerleader. Nobody's going to cheer you on like you would cheer on for yourself. Somebody with the fake cheering, congrats. You ain't no happy. You're not happy. We're for done. You're not happy at all. Just fake, keep the little fake congratulations to yourself, you know? So I just want to throw that out there to you guys and whatever. Um, like I said, I'm just forever grateful that I have my own travel business. I'm happy that I just kept that pretty much to myself and I talked to God and prayed about it and he helped me get this thing. And I'm so happy that I have him, you know? So I just want to throw that video, well, it's not that, but this video out to you guys to let you know whatever's for you, whatever God has for you is for you. 
There's nothing that no one can take from you. If God says that's for you, it's for you. So I don't care how much someone is trying to do the opposite or whatever, or trying to pray for the opposite or whatever. If that's for you, that's for you. God got it for you. So that's why I keep certain stuff to yourself so you don't have to worry about people praying on your downfall. Just do that. Learn to pray for yourself. Move in silence. Stop telling people your every move because everybody don't care. They don't care. They can care less. Pray for yourself. Move in silence. And I promise you, once you start moving in silence, you're going to thank me later. When you start praying for yourself and watching out who you actually pray for, for you, you're going to thank me later. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. You didn't have to, but you did. Okay. I want to say thank you so, so, so much for watching my video. And if you guys can please hit the thumbs up on the video, you can like it, comment, and share my video. It helps out my channel a great deal. Thank you guys so much. And may God continue to bless you all. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.